Hey everyone! Welcome back to BioSpeaks. Today we're diving into two important concepts that affect our ecosystems, bioaccumulation and biomagnification. By the end of this video, you'll understand how harmful chemicals can build up in living organisms and travel through food chains. Let's start with bioaccumulation. Imagine a small fish swimming in a polluted pond. Over time, this fish absorbs harmful chemicals from the water, like mercury or pesticides. These chemicals are tiny, but because the fish can't get rid of them, they accumulate in its body. This process is called bioaccumulation. Now, bioaccumulation happens slowly. With each meal or gulp of water, the fish takes in a little more of these chemicals. Eventually, the levels of harmful substances in its body get higher than what's in the water. This can make the fish sick, or even worse, affect its ability to reproduce. But it doesn't stop there. When a bigger fish eats the smaller fish, it not only gets the nutrients but also inherits all the chemicals that had accumulated in the smaller fish. As the big fish eats more small fish, the levels of chemicals increase even more. This process is called biomagnification. As chemicals move up the food chain, their concentration increases. A great real-life example of biomagnification is mercury in fish. Small organisms in the ocean, like plankton, absorb mercury from polluted water. Small fish eat the plankton, bigger fish eat the smaller fish, and eventually, we might eat that fish at a restaurant. By the time humans eat large predatory fish, like tuna or swordfish, the mercury levels can be dangerously high. This is why we need to be careful about how much of these types of fish we eat, especially for pregnant women and children. Bioaccumulation and biomagnification show us how pollution affects the entire food chain, including humans. By reducing pollution and being mindful of what we eat, we can help protect both ecosystems and our health. We can also push for better environmental policies to limit harmful chemicals from entering our water and soil. Little changes make a big difference. Thanks for watching this episode of BioSpeaks. If you learned something new today, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more science content. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about bioaccumulation or biomagnification, and I'll see you in the